You've likely heard the term drone thrown around quite a bit lately. Recreational drones are incredibly popular, and they're also used by filmmakers, by our military, and even to deliver products. If you watch the news, you've probably heard the term UAV before. Is that the same thing as a drone? Let's investigate the difference so you'll know what you're looking for. Trying to distinguish between a drone and a UAV is a little tricky. This is because the term drone is more of a media buzzword. Due to their increasing popularity, the government has decided to put some effort into defining exactly what makes up a drone so that regulations can be put in place. A drone is any kind of autonomously or remotely guided vehicle. For something to be a drone, there has to be no pilot inside a cockpit. Hobbyist quadcopters qualify by this definition, as do remote submarines, and even remote control cars. All of these can be considered drones in the most basic sense of the word because they are vehicles that are piloted through pre-programmed computer software or by remote pilot. Currently the government is trying to create a more detailed definition for the word drone so that when regulations are put in place, they will apply to the types of vehicles we generally associate with a word like quadcopters, and not to RC cars. Some proponents want to add language which states that in order for something to be a drone, it needs to have software that allows it to function or return to its launch spot without human intervention. Not everyone agrees on this, but it helps differentiate between quadcopter drones and remote control helicopters. UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, and is a flying aircraft piloted by remote control or software, and which is capable of reuse. This counts missiles out as they aren't capable of being reused. UAS, or Unmanned Aircraft Systems, includes both the aircraft itself and any systems like the computers or remote use to control it. People often use the term drone as a slang for these military vehicles. But if someone says UAV, they are likely referring to a government craft and not a hobby drone. Since there is no standard definition for the word, drone can mean different things to different people. Usually, it either refers to a military UAV or a quadcopter. As we've discussed, there are other varieties, but when someone says they want to buy a drone, a quadcopter is usually what they are after. If you are just interested in buying a drone for fun to fly around and you want to search on Amazon for one, you're better off using the term drone to find what you're looking for. If you are interested in the difference between the two for regulatory issues, then many more factors must be taken into account. As mentioned previously, the problem is a lack of a universally accepted definition. This means that you can't predict whether your aircraft will fall under the definition in the future. However, it is likely that when regulations are put in place, they will not apply to RC helicopters or cars. The easiest distinction would be that in order to legally be a drone, some sort of software that allows it to hover in place or return to its starting point must be involved. But until those decisions are made, we won't know. If you're looking for something to fly for fun that is easy to maneuver and is capable of recording video, there are a lot of drones to choose from. If you're looking for a quadcopter, you'll definitely need onboard software in order to keep it level and of it return to you when you're done. If you want to sound fancy and call it a UAV, you can, although the term is usually associated with the military. You'll continue to hear people talk more and more about drones. Sometimes they'll be talking about the US government engaging in tactical maneuvers, and sometimes they're talking about taking their kids to the park and doing flying tricks with an RC plane. You'll just have to ask them, because until everyone can agree on the definition, there's no way to know what they mean.